it's the million dollar question. Everyone wants an agent when you start out to be an actor. So I'm creating a video on it since I get asked about it so many times. So here are five steps on how to get an agent. Hi there, Jody Bentley here, actor and career and life coach for actors. And today I want to talk about how to get an agent. So every time I do a uh, Instagram live, a Facebook live, and I do Q and A's uh, twice a month in my community. And every time I do it, someone inevitably asks, how do I get an agent? It's the million dollar question. Everyone wants an agent when you start out to be an actor, um, right? That that's what people want. They want to get their, their headshots. They want to start getting auditions and they want to get an agent. So I'm creating a video on it since I get asked about it so many times. So here are five steps on how to get an agent. Now this is in New York, London, LA, UK, Australia. I don't care where you are. Five steps to get an agent. Number one, know what you sell. What you get to know is the agent, the manager is your salesperson. They need to know the commodity that they're working with. So you must have clarity on your branding and your product. So that way it's clear to them because a confused mind says, no, that's just marketing 101. So you get to be super freaking clear on your brand, your themes, the stories you tell, how you are perceived, how you show up in the world, what roles do you want to be booking? What, what stories, what stories do you want to tell? You get to know these things and know them deeply and with clarity to be able to talk about it. And which will lead us to our next point of having it manifest in all of your marketing tools. But first and foremost, you got to know what you sell. That way your agent can pitch you. They are a salesperson. Second step, once you know what you sell, once you know your brand, you must have great marketing tools that reflect that. Your headshots must, must portray um, and emanate and scream of who you are and what you do. Like you got to look at your headshots and go, I get it. I get who this person is. I get what they're booking. I get what they're about. So you got to have great headshots to be able to compete, to be competitive. And great headshots are headshots that are authentically you, that reflect you. Um, other marketing tools, uh, your reel, um, your musical theater reel, if you're a musical theater person, um, clips, voiceover reel, whatever it may be, those tools also get to represent you and your brand. So when you're pitching and when your team is pitching you, they have the ammunition they need to get you in the door. So and you don't need to have a super polished reel of 52 shows that you've booked. It can even be a self tape clip of something that you've done or um, you know, two or three clips that you record to have in your arsenal to use to pitch, but you must have some footage. Content is king, right? We gotta have some footage um, to be able to pitch with. So you got to have tools that reflect your brand. Third thing to get an agent is you need a great pitch email. You need a pitch email that feels like you. Again, that gives them the tools that they need. Um, it doesn't get to be long. It gets to be compelling. It gets to motivate them to reach out to you, right? We want to compel them to do that. It's not about giving them everything in the kitchen sink. It's not about coming off as desperate. Um, it's, uh, it's really being authentically you from a place of trust and confidence and knowingness, not arrogance, to be able to pitch yourself. So we need that really solid pitch email to open the door. And then really number four is the follow-up because it's not about sending just one pitch email. It's about having a campaign and following up to those emails. So you really want to have follow-up emails with sales bites ready to go to be able to follow up with, with the people you've reached out to. And number five, prep for the interview. Oh dear God, please prep for the interview. So many people spend all their time and focus on getting the interview, getting in the door for the interview. And then they go in 
and they flounder because they haven't put in the work to prep for the interview, to be able to talk about yourself effortlessly, to be able to answer the question, so tell me about yourself, to be able to talk about who you know in the industry, who you want to know in the industry, your goals, where you see yourself, your career trajectory as a whole, you get to be able to talk about all that. So step five is prepping for the interview, which so many people forget. So how do you get an agent? Really by following these five steps. Because if you start to prep for an interview before knowing who you are and what you sell or what you want, that's hard. If you start writing a pitch email before you know who you are and what you want, that's challenging. If you start to get your headshots and create all your marketing tools without understanding how you're fully perceived or having clarity on how your team can pitch and sell you, that's wasting time and money. So these are my five steps to get an agent. If you need support in these, it's exactly what I do for my clients in my Actors Think Tank membership and my mastermind groups. Um, just comment below this video and let me know if you need additional support. But if you've been wondering, how do I do this? How do I do this? That's how you do it. Um, but it's about putting in the work to understand how you're perceived and what you sell, then to be able to build all of those other pieces but it does start with that foundation of branding and clarity for you or else we're trying to be all things to all people. And that's, that's not how to make a career. Yeah. You want to deliver in the room. Yeah. You got to be talented, but you got to get in those rooms first. <laughs> then you can break it. I always say you got to embrace your brand to break your brand. So embrace it to get that agent. All right. Let me know what you think um, about these five steps. Let me know any questions you have in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.